Hey YouTube, Gold Hunter here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your cup of coffee a day into a gold coin. We all have habits and vices, and I'm going to show you how you just tweak it a little and you can get some pure gold. So it really is simple to do. All we have to do is take our coffee per day, right? And I'm going to use uh, some numbers that are from Canada, okay? And this is for an extra large coffee. And it's $2.47 where I live, okay, for each one. So if I buy one per day, every week I spend $17.29. Month, I use the 30-day month. Some months are going to be a little bit more. So I'm a little bit less, right? But for the average, it's going to be $74.10 per month spent on a cup of coffee a day. Yearly, it would cost me $901.55 for the same coffee. Now, these are in Canadian numbers, but I have the U.S. numbers in the yearly mark because that's where it matters the most. And for the one year of buying one cup of coffee a day, at my local drive through coffee joint is $654.89 US. Now, I'm not suggesting anybody stop drinking their coffee a day because I know just as well as anyone, you probably need that cup of coffee, right? So the tweak I'm going to make is I'm just going to drink a coffee at home per day. Or I can get a travel mug, make my coffee at home, and then take my coffee with me, right? So I went on to Walmart's uh, website, and I found for 48 uh, K-Pods for the Keurig machines is $14.97. So for each coffee, it'll cost me $0.31, cents, right? So weekly... It's $2.18 it'll cost me for those coffees. That is actually cheaper than the one coffee that I'm getting at my local coffee shop, right? Monthly, it's $9.35. And yearly, it is $113.81 it's going to cost me. In U.S. dollars, it's $82.67 per year for one coffee a day for myself. Now... You can also maybe drink tea. It's probably even a little bit cheaper, right? So you can save even more money. You can also get instant coffee, or you can make your own coffee, brew your own coffee, which is just pennies, right? Way cheaper even. But this is going to work out anyways. This is still way better than going to your coffee shop. Now, the difference is for each coffee, two dollars and 16 cents weekly i'm saving 15 dollars and 11 cents monthly i'm saving 64 dollars and 75 cents and yearly i am saving a whopping 787 dollars and 74 cents and in u.s dollars i will save per year 572 dollars and 21 cents now you could probably save even more because maybe your coffee joint charges a little bit extra, right? Or maybe you buy two coffees per day, right? So now you can just double the savings, right? Or maybe you buy three coffees per day. Or maybe you buy a donut with your coffee. Maybe you can lead a little bit healthier lifestyle. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm just showing you a trick or a tweak that you can do to get some gold because a lot of people say oh gold hunter i can't afford gold right times are tough well i think if we sacrifice just a tiny little bit we can all learn tweak it a little bit we can we can all afford even just a small bit of gold right it's better than no gold and if you do that it'll add up now again i don't suggest you uh just leave these savings in your bank account so at the end of the week, I would probably take my $17.29 and 
will actually be $15.11, right? The difference. I would take that out of my account and I'd put it in a, a jar, right? Or you could do it daily or $2.16 or whatever. Because if you just leave it in your account, you're, you're apt to spend it on something else. But if you take it out and you put it in the jar, you put it away, you kind of hide it a bit. You don't only look at it every so often. You're less likely to spend it. Especially as you see it getting bigger, you're going to be like, whoa, that's crazy. And at the end of the year, you're going to take this cash you've, um, you've tweaked to save, right? And so now I have some prices. At time of video, gold is $3,150.32 per ounce Canadian. U.S., it is $2,288.39 U.S. Now, you're like, well... Gold Hunter, you can't afford an ounce still. Nope. But look at the quarter ounce. So remember, we saved $787.74 Canadian. A quarter ounce of gold right now at these numbers is $787.58. Almost exactly to a T, the savings you'll save. Okay? And again, if you, it's US, it's 572.21. And U.S. for a quarter ounce right now is 572.10. So you're, you can easily go and purchase your ounce of gold. Or not your ounce of gold, sorry, your quarter ounce of gold. And you're like, well, I want to save more than that. Well, okay, then maybe we have to cut something else out, right? Or tweak something else. I wouldn't cut things out. Just tweak it so that you can afford it, right? Like we did with the coffee. We're still drinking our coffee a day. Okay, now... If you think, if you did drink two coffees per day and then you switch to drinking them at home or making one coffee at home and then taking one to go in a travel cup from home, you could realistically buy a half ounce of gold, right? If you were to purchase more coffees per day, you can do more. Or if your coffees were more expensive at your coffee shop, you can buy more than half ounce, right? Or if you buy coffee of yourself, one for your wife or girlfriend or significant other, right? And your partner. And maybe you buy a couple coffees per day. Maybe you throw some donuts on there or some muffins or, you know, whatever. Well, if you just tweak them a little bit, maybe you can afford more than even half an ounce, right? So this is just something to think about. So what do you think about that? how I tweaked my coffee, right? So I can potentially earn a quarter ounce of gold per year. Now, should I make videos on other items to show how much gold you can acquire if you change your habits for a year? What other items would you like to see? Examples, beer at a bar slash pub versus at home right? How about cutting back on cigarettes? Maybe not stopping, maybe stopping. I bet you, you can afford a lot of gold if you quit smoking. But if you didn't want to quit, maybe cutting back, you know, a few a day, we can do a, we can do a video on that. Or is there something else that you think or that you want to see? If you've made it this far and I would really like it if you can comment something like about this, about what you would like to see or what you think on this. Okay. It doesn't have to be the example I gave, but it can be. If you want one of those examples, throw in the comments. If I get some, uh, a bit of uh, traction on that, we'll do a video for sure. Okay. I would like you to please like, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot and it's free doesn't doesn't cost you anything right all right gold hunter out see you on the next one stay golden youtube